In this application, we will define the basic structure of a ladder logic program. For this example, we will be using the SG2 client version 3.4 software in conjunction with the Windows 7 operating system. The three contact ladder logic programming screen area consists of seven columns and up to 300 rungs. Column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These are located on rung 001. Each rung can have up to three contacts and one coil. Contacts can be inserted into columns 1, 3, and or 5. Coils can be inserted into column 7 only. Each coil can be used once within a program. Contact functions can be programmed in either a normally open or normally closed logic. When opening a contact edit window, you will notice that the contact type is STR or STR not. STR is normally open and STR not is normally closed. The normally open contact state is open until the corresponding input signal or the corresponding element coil becomes active. The normally closed contact state is closed until the corresponding input signal is given or the corresponding element coil becomes active. In the following example, we will insert a normally open I01 into column 1, rung 1. Next, we will insert a normally closed I02 into column 3, rung 001. Then, we will insert a normally open I03 into column 5, rung 1. Finally, we will insert a Q01 coil into column 7, rung 001. This is an example of one rung of ladder logic programming consisting of three contacts and one coil. Sometimes you may not need three contacts in a rung. In this case, you will need horizontal connecting lines to connect components within a rung. These horizontal connecting lines can be inserted into columns 1, 3, and or 5. In the following example, we will insert an I01 contact into column 1, rung 001. We will have a horizontal connecting line inserted into columns 3 and 5 of rung 001. Finally, we will complete the rung with a Q01 output coil in column 7 of rung 001. This example shows the use of horizontal connecting lines. There are some instances in a ladder logic program where you will need to connect two or more rungs together. We do this by using vertical connecting lines. The vertical connecting lines can be inserted into columns 2, 4, and or 6. In the following example, we will show an I01 contact activating both a Q01 coil and a Q02 coil upon the activation of I01. To illustrate this, we will insert the I01 contact into column 1, rung 001. Next, we will insert horizontal connecting lines into columns 3 and 5 of rung 001. Then we will insert a Q01 coil into column 7, rung 001. To connect rungs 001 and 002, we will insert a vertical connecting line into column 2, rung 002. We will then insert horizontal connecting lines into columns 3 and 5, of rung 002. Finally, 
we will insert a Q02 coil into column 7 of rung 002 to complete this example. Once again, this example shows the activation of I01 input activating both a Q01 and a Q02 output.